much farther can I go? I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item, but keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. Think of it as... tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. If not over, then through. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the Archdevil's Ariel's own, Chaos Incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. All right, anything more we should discuss? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. By all means. Anything more we should discuss? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life, one merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Proud. No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. That's the spirit. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work.
It sounds awful. Seems like a good moment to talk. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Not this one, nor this one, and this one are less worthy still. I riddle thee not, I speak only what requires telling. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Very well. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Something the matter? If you're sure. Well met. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. Well met. That's the spirit. Indolence breeds madness. All right. What now? Oh, no. I hate wolves. I didn't realize you were frightened of wolves, Shadowheart. Everyone's frightened of something. My fears are hardly I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can... 
Don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. Here we go. to have a word uh, another stranger come to vex me what will you do hunt me grab my tail shout until my head hurts silence your help is not required not by me at least Something the matter? If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Something good here, I hope. What do you need now? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Any word on Master Halsam? He and the adventurers were headed to the ruined temple in the west. Master Halsam studied that drow for days, and he was sure something at the temple could help his research. I'm praying he was right. Concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle?
Yes. Yes, you're right. That's it. Staring at me again. What do you want? That's not going to work. Remember our deal now. You're curious. You've got a great many odors about you. What happened to you? I didn't mean to pry. Bear is preoccupied with a shiny pebble. Your presence goes unnoticed. Place is this a path to redemption or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Why, I never... You're paranoid, aren't you? 
must be the surroundings. Rather bleak and lonesome, one feels so exposed. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. Tut, tut, no need for that crude cutlery of yours. As you can see, I'm amply provisioned. This is the House of Hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Fair enough. What's better? than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. <laughs> My, aren't you a nervous one? I assure you I'm here to help. Not harm. Consider your predicament. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet. Have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. The Devil with the Silver Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. 
and then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. And someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Githyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the hells. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Blackest sight pierces the many planes. Moon, sun, all remind me. No, that doesn't work. It hurts! It hurts! Please, make it stop! Can't you hear it? Her singing. It's awful. Terrible. Oh no, whatever shall we do? More witless creatures, more ear bleed. My head is melting. I'm leaving before the damage is permanent. Dance upon the stars tonight Smile when pain will fade away Words of mine will change No Become Ugh. Change? No Damn it! No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song! I can't... Nothing fits, you know? Hmm... It can't hurt. I have her... I have an extra loot, if you want. My teacher. Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars, a huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble. 
Like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Yes, yes! Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lehala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. still smell it. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. I have a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. Words of mine will turn to 
Let's crack his Can't give up now. Light on my feet. Moon reminds me of your grace. Pull the love I can't Another step forward. Singing. It's beautiful. Shh. Listen. A sweet melody beckons you. It vibrates with magic. A harpy's charm. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. in good hands.
I'll make you pay.
I will yeah, have your know. head, Harpy. I'll make you pay. Just Mole. She'll be so mad. I didn't get the gold from the nest. I got to go. Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. What's hiding here? These boots have seen everything. Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Zathis purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. Assume no 
nothing. <clears throat> Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. ahead. No hesitation. Heading out. <sighs> no time to rest. Can't slow down. He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Master, he left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones, and I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. No, the woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately, even for Master.
the milk. Watching his hands, you realize he's miming opening something. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. And again. No, this is good. I need a quick word. You don't look so tough. Mull thought of a hobgoblin all by herself. You're blocking my light. Oh, I remember you. You're the one who helped me get away. You want something? Were you just here to stare at my forehead? Look, if I had it, would I tell you? This entire conversation is a waste of our time, don't you think? Now find yourself a maze and get lost. I'm busy. No, everyone's got junk. Worse than junk. Don't worry, kid. In Boulder's Gate, purses practically grow on trees. Be oh. patient. We'll get there. You came! I have... Here! Mole said I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you a story. It's about you. I hope you like it. The gate will never see us coming. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. I heard you help Melly with that locket. I owe you for that. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? So what? Should we be panicking like everyone else? 
We have a plan. We're the ones who'll end up on top in the gate. Anything else? I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. That ritual's nothing more than a fancy way to kick us out and leave us for dead. The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Figures. Don't think you've got the stones for the job anyhow. Anything else? Anything else? You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Oh. Hello again. Um... Mole's in charge here, not me. I need new pockets Wait, to pick. I get to run the ring scan. Sylphie got caught. We have to lay low for a while. I knew she wasn't ready. It's not like you never got caught. Look at them beaming. You did that. What do you need now? Step, Harry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood. And the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. I'll, I'll try and brace them better. Um, like so. Step, brace, parry, swing. Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Hold. And step. Swing. Parry. Swing. One more time. Maybe I need more pockets. Let's What's see. Stopped me yet. Stop! This place 
is off limits. Leave. Damn it. Was inventory today? I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! What? No, the potion worked! I'm strong as a bugbear and fearless! The old lady warned me that this might happen. That it was a side effect. No, she's been nothing but kind to me. Why would she... Sorry, I need a moment. I'm not... Not feeling the best. But I'm sure it'll pass. Best be on my way. Don't say that. I'm just sad. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Uh, I miss my forge. They leave in zone for a good while after this. Die if I meant the road can reaching of this place. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. It's settled, Dannis. You, me, and the Elf Song Tavern, first thing when we arrive. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint. For your finder's fee. Can't wait to get back to the gate. Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You don't understand. My apprenticeship with Laroacan begins shortly. I cannot be late. Yes, that Laroacan. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. 
His name is known far and wide, I see. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. Those goblins will rue the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards! Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Food. You want it or not? Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Uh-oh, bucket. Why, hello, there's... Hmm. I'd <laughs> die if I meant the roa can reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Aha! You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear you're still as peaky looking. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up. And depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Tell her. But if she pulls out a pot of oil, run. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some... Interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Pet.
waiting's getting to me. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. Oh, what I'd do for some fun. Swing and swivel and wait. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we do without her. Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Stop. I was fine. My mother was a heartbeat away from fighting a bear. Isn't that how mommy usually... Ugh. I'm never gonna hear the end of this. If I'd got that stupid idol, I'd be a hero. A heroic thief? Mum? Dad? Mole? They all would have been so impressed. Mole said we had to do something. Because the old folks weren't doing anything. They were talking when the druids were getting ready to throw us out. Why can't we just stay in until it's safe? Stealing the idol. What were you thinking? I was trying to help. Speak. Fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Harsh. Remind me to stay on your good side. You were never on my good side. Someone there. At least things have stayed interesting. on the plaque is a mystery to you. Defender of the people. 
The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. I'll give it a shot. No traps, please. Breathe deep and move. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Ellie, fisherwoman, ultra. No, up river. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Woman, beautiful, couldn't look away. Went west, others followed, couldn't help themselves. Marcus, fishing. Saw the crash, came quick. Trying to help folk. Elf ran north, up the beach. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. 